Hey, it's Harcourt from Play. Today I want to show you how to open a sheet, also sometimes called a modal, using an open sheet actions in Play 2.0. So let's first just create a super basic interaction here to get the concept down. We'll add a tap trigger plus an open sheet action. You can see there's a lot of properties here, giving you a lot of customization for what you want your modal slash sheet to look like and behave like. In Play, you'll select another page in your Play project to come in as the sheet on top of the current page. So in this case, we chose the drawer page. And now when I tap on my iOS device, you can see this native modal opens and it already has all this functionality in it. I can pan down to close it, can pan up to make it go to that large state. And you can see as I pan that background page is scaling up and down. All of this, again, Play gives you completely for free. All you have to do is add this interaction, open sheet, and everything comes from there. So right now we have these two heights, this medium height and the large height. These are both called detents and you can customize them further. So I can select either of those or choose a custom height and I can put anything in here. So maybe I want this to be 650. So now I have this medium height, I have this 650 height and I have the full large detent size. You can also use the expression editor to create more custom um, detents. So let's say you want to use the user's iPhone size to determine the height of your detent. So I'm going to say device, which is a selection dot height, screen height here. And I'm just going to multiply that by 0.5. And now you can have, depending on whatever phone size the user is using, this detent for is going to be a different height. You can also decide which start detent you want to use. So right now it's medium, but if I instead wanted to start it at large, now when I tap, it's going to automatically go to that large size and I can dismiss it from there. You can also adjust whether you want to have a corner radius, whether that grabber, grabber, this little grabber is in view, whether you are able to dismiss this or not. If it's on, then you can see I can try and swipe down as many times as I'd like to and it just will never dismiss. You can also choose whether the content in the stack is scrollable or not scrollable. And if I have the, the sheet on the page, whether you can interact with the page beneath the sheet. So that's a super basic example. And in this case, I have to do something on my page to see the sheet pop up. But let's say you want the sheet to be visible at all times. That's also very possible to do in play. So I'm going to add a page event and I'll spell it correctly a page event triggered to my page, and I want the event type to be on load. So that means this is going to fire as soon as this page loads into view. And now this is a fun part of UI two. I can just drag this open sheet action and drop it on the page event. And so now you can see this happens as soon as the page is loaded into view. I can double tap on this. And every time I reset the interactions here, this page loads into view automatically. Now I probably wouldn't want it to start in large, so I could instead maybe change one of my detents to 100 and have it start at 100. So now when it comes into view, it's just right here at the bottom. I'm still able to interact with the rest of my page and I can change all the sizes from here, but it stays at that bottom state. And that's how you'll open a sheet on your page and also how you can start with a sheet opened on your page already. Thanks again for watching this video.